How is everybody doing? This is going to be a very short video just to show you guys what I got. Unfortunately, I did not have enough time to video in the stores. And I know it's kind of dark and dim in here. It is actually super late night right now. It's 9.38 at night. Um, the baby is still awake. It is Saturday night. So that just goes to show how on track with life I am right now. But I did want to show you guys what I got. I found some good gems over at Costco. Let me turn this a little bit at Costco. And then I also found some gems at Walmart. Um, a couple things that we did get that I'm not going to be showing you is I got a huge pumpkin pie from Costco. The kids love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. And they were only $7.99. Um, so I did get that was my actually first one that I got this season and normally I get them all the time I was kind of debating between the Pumpkin pie and then they have like a pumpkin loaf with I don't know if it's like cream cheese frosting and Chocolate curlies on top. I don't know what it is, but it looked delicious But I had to refrain and I had to hold myself off because I was like, oh, I'm going grocery shopping why am I gonna get this right now when I'm gonna come in a couple days to go grocery shopping? So, I guess I'm gonna show you guys what I got and let's just get started because I definitely should not have went shopping. The baby is throwing the football at me yelling touchdown. Touchdown! <laughs> Throw it. <laughs> She's in her playpen. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. For starters, I will start here. Um, we do have a funeral that we're going to, a very sad circumstance, but they requested that everybody wears white. So I did find this. It does, you can't really see it, but has it, oh, maybe you can. It has like a shimmer to it. It's an all white outfit, and I found this one at Walmart for the baby. And I just got it in a 24 months because hopefully it can grow with her. And this was $13.98. Comes with a really cute little pair of pants that I'm just gonna pair with some tinnies or probably some white um, white dressy shoes. So this is going to be for a family thing that we have to get together and go and do. Please say prayers for the family. They really need them right now. And okay, let's get finished. I got myself a white tank top and I love these tank tops from Walmart. These are amazing. If you have never tried these tank tops, go to Walmart and get you some. They are, how much are these? I think they're like $3, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're like, yeah, like $3 or something like that a piece, but they're absolutely amazing. Mine just got, I don't know if it was fabric softener stains on it, but right here in the front it got some stains on it. And I think I'm going to wear this with a pair of like white slacks or something or a white skirt or something just to go for the funeral. Um, all right. So from Walmart, I got a Patty LaBelle sweet potato pie because my honey loves Patty LaBelle sweet potato pies. He loves them. So we got the pumpkin pie and I got him that pie and I'm probably gonna have a, sli have a slice myself. Um, let's be honest, that pie's good. That pie's really good. Uh, <laughs> I don't need it as you can tell, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. So I got some of these little ornament tree hook things. These were 98 cents a pack and they have 15 in each. And the reason that I got this shape was because I figured that they're gonna hold the ornaments better because they have like this right here and it like twists and turns the like string in there so that they don't fall off when they wiggle. So I got a couple of those. I got some Merry Grinchmas. God, I can't even hold it up. So Merry Grinchmas um, Christmas cards. I'm gonna be sending out Christmas cards if you want one. Message me, let me know. Um, and send me your address and I will send you a card. I'm gonna be sending these out a couple of my favorite people here on YouTube. Um, hopefully y'all get them. And just to say Merry Grinchmas, but those are cute. I thought those were super cute. They do come with envelopes also, not stamps. Of course not. Um, 
I did get three packs of the disposable razors because they're for my teenagers, my teenage boys. And do I trust them with expensive razors right now? No. So I got three packs of those. What else did I get from Walmart? Oh, I got some tights for the baby. Black and white, seven bucks for both of those. Um, they're really warm. And I got the 18 to 36 months. And only because, you know, tights always shrink in the washer and dryer. So I like to get them a little bit bigger. Um, but these are like the really warm and cozy ones. So I got those for the baby. So the baby has a potty in the bathroom. We're trying to potty train. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Hold on. Yeah. I know, I can see what, you know what she's doing? She's taking her bottle and spilling her milk onto her thighs. <laughs> yay! No, not yay. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. So she pretended like she wasn't doing that and she has a poppet in there and she threw her bottle and she grabbed the poppet and said, yay, yeah, I caught you. So anyways, the baby has a potty in the bathroom and I haven't been consistent on it. That's my fault. Um, she's 14 months right now. She just, the way I see it is, I don't wanna, I've been introducing it to her, but I don't wanna force it on her until I really notice that they're ready. Now my oldest was potty trained by 11 months old. I mean, potty trained all the way through. Um, my daughter was potty trained when she was I want to say a year, maybe a year and a month. And then Elijah, of course, being autistic, he was potty trained later, which is okay. Um, now, Zahara, we haven't been so strict on it only because she is our last baby. And I don't want to say I'm trying to keep her a baby as long as I can, but it doesn't bother me. So she has a potty in the bathroom. I need to get more consistent. I am trying to find, I don't know if you guys remember these, but they had undies that felt like undies on the inside and then on the outside they felt like rubber. And I have been looking all over for those. I looked at Walmart, Target, I looked on Amazon, I've looked everywhere. I cannot find those. And they actually hold it in the undies, the pee, so that way it doesn't soak through because I mean if they pee it's gonna come through. Ma'am! I just need to grab the bottle. Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. You're done. Thank you. See, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so because we are back from, I know. One second. Where's your coupon? Hey, where's your coupon? I understand. Where did it go? Where did it go? Sit down. I know, I know. Where is it? Where's your, here it is. I found it. Say thank you. All right. So, because I am going to start strictly potty training her, I want to be able to take a potty with us when we go places because I want to be able to put her on the potty if that makes sense. And I found the Fuss Stops here, Frida Baby Fold and Go Potty Seat. Um, This is awesome. And it comes with a little carrying bag. I've already opened it, sorry guys. <laughs> it comes with a little carrying bag. And um, it opens up, it folds, this way it opens up and then it opens up this way and it has these little rubber stoppers so that it's not slipping and sliding all over the toilet and then it also has these little grippies so that you don't have to touch it and you can pick them up by this and wash it off before you put it back in the bag when you go um, or take a wipey a disinfected wipey to it but I thought this was really nice and I'm going to be using this when we go <sighs> we're always gone guys we're never home, we're always on the go. So whether it be football games, whether it be you know school events, whether it be us going on a trip, the honey always has us moving. So I thought that was really nice and it comes with a little carrying case. I got that one from Walmart. I believe that was $14. 
Okay, I got my little fabric softener flakes. And if you guys have never tried these, I know that I said that I was going to make my laundry soap that I could show you guys. So I'm gonna end up doing that in a separate video. I will do that once I go grocery shopping because I get baking soda to put inside of the mixture. Um, so I got two of these. These were like $3.58 a box. I should have gotten four, but I got two for now. Those are also from Walmart. What else? Um, these are from Walmart. So we do matching pajamas and um, I always make, okay, so for every Christmas Eve, my kids open one Christmas gift and they know that that Christmas gift includes a pair of PJs that they don't know what it is, um, some snacks for our Christmas movie that we watch, and popcorn and a mug sometimes. Just a whole bunch of goodies because then we put our PJs on and we watch movies on Christmas Eve. So I got a matching pair for me and I don't know if you can see that. These ones are for um, Izzy and then I got myself some and then I got the baby some to match us and daddy has this. Uh, onesie. I don't want to say it because I got teenagers probably listening to me, but I got, this is what all the girls are going to be wearing. And then I think I'm going to get the boys just a pair of like plain colored sweatpants because they are teenage boys. I could have gotten them the same ones as us, but I, and I still might. But these were $17.48 each for the women's and the kids were $12.98, so I got those. So that was everything that I got from Walmart. That was everything that I got from Walmart, guys. Um, so I'm gonna go into my Costco haul that I'm kind of excited about because I keep seeing this thing all over the internet. And the one person that I have like kind of a borderline obsession with, Kim from the Wads, she knows of our, we're best friends. You just don't know it yet, Kim. Um, <laughs> I'm your best friend from Cali. I'm really from Florida, but I'm your best friend that's living in Cali that is hoping to get back to the other side very soon. Very, very soon if, if all permits. The honey actually is filling out applications. I'm gonna fill out some more applications for jobs. We're gonna see. And then we can really be best friends like I really imagined. <laughs> Don't mind me, Kim. Don't mind me. Um, I see, she got this from Costco during Halloween. And I was so upset because what y'all get on the other side of states we don't get here in California until later on. So she made kind of like a charcuterie board um, for a Halloween. If you guys not have not checked out her video, go and check that out. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post different vlogs all the time and I'm gonna continue posting different vlogs um, so that you guys can just love my family and love me and just be my best friend. But anyways, okay. She found this, the S'mores Maker. And it is awesome because guys, it is, oh, I just hit myself in the chest. It comes with like the marshmallow fork thingies, these things here, it comes with these. But not only that, you don't need like chemicals. It plugs in. So it plugs into the wall and it says flameless electric roaster, four marshmallow forks included, 
built-in serving tray guys imagine okay so for halloween she did these um the halloween peeps marshmallows and chocolates and oh my god she did so much different stuff i cannot wait for christmas time because i still need to do mine from halloween we have not had the chance so i still need to make the kids charcuterie boards for halloween but this was only 20 bucks 20 bucks that was it that was it guys i'm so excited to use this and i can't wait to post the video when i use it um i also found this this year my theme is going to be christmas trees like a winter wonderland christmas trees and <laughs> she's talking and uh right now in the background you don't see it but the elf movie is actually playing so i'm trying to distract her with that like i said i know it's dark in here guys but bear with me um so we're gonna call this the late night shop shop with me no the late night what did i get? i don't know I don't know what to call it. Just know it's from Walmart and Costco. This one is from Costco. It's only 10 bucks. Uh, it's got the green on the back. It's got the Christmas trees. And I am going to incorporate this Christmas tree ribbon into my Christmas tree. So, oh, I got this. I got this, guys. Um, it's wire edged ribbon. And this is the 50 yards. And um, it's just a Christmas trees. I thought this would be a pretty theme this year. Um, so I'm gonna do this and I'll show you guys my Christmas tree when I do it. But I did think that that matched. What do you guys think? So I like that. I got this, this was $9, it was only nine. I found some peppermint cream cookies and I'm gonna hide these in my room because kids are not gonna eat these. These are mine, I don't care. They're mine. And I don't know why, but the baby thought this was like a baby nipple and she kept trying to like suck on it and say leche, meaning milk. She thought that's what that was. Um, those look super yummy. They're like Oreos, I think. Um, I also found this, I'm so excited. I have so many of these things, guys. Like when I say so many, I have so many of these. Um, but my Costco finally came with it. So what this is, is it's the dash maker, but the dash maker has seven multi-plate mini makers. So it is interchangeable, but guys, it also comes with a storage box. None of my other ones have storage box. Maybe that's because none of them come with like plates and stuff, extra plates, like interchangeable plates. But you can see here, can you see? I don't know if you can see. Okay. There you go. And it has a gingerbread man, snowflake, a regular waffle one, a Christmas tree, a pumpkin, and then a heart. And I already have the heart, but this is, oh, I'm so excited. I love it, I'm so excited. I never get myself anything, guys, so I'm super, super excited. Uh, the kid's bathroom needed light bulbs. Okay, please explain to me how my kid's light bulbs burnt out already. I'm not understanding it. So if you can explain that to me, I'd really love to know. But these are really neat guys because you can actually change how high and how low you want the light in the bathroom. So that was really neat. This comes with a six pack. Um, got some wrapping paper to match, to, to match my Christmas tree. So this is the one from Costco. And if you know anything about these wrapping papers, they are double-sided. This one had the Christmas tree. So that made me super excited. Um, the one in the middle here says like, Noel, Merry Christmas. And this one looks like sugar cookies, starred sugar cookies. And this is kind of just like hollies and stuff like that. And then on the inside of the hollies, it has plaid, which is super, super cute. Then on the inside of the Noel, it has stockings. Then on the inside of the sugar cookies, it has Christmas trees. So I think what I'm gonna do is, there's this new thing that I've seen online where you take the piece, you take a piece of um, the wrapping paper and you put it at the very, very bottom of the kid's stocking. Whatever color 
or whatever that wrapping paper looks like, that's the, how the kids are going to know whose is whose. So that way they can't go over there and shake and guess. I think that's what I'm going to do this year. And I don't know how you guys do Christmas, but what I have always done for Christmas is I have my kids write out a list. And on that list, it's five of each. So five things you want, five things you need, five things you could use, five things you could read, and five things you can wear. Um, and then from each one is going to have five. They're going to write out five, 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 five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it's going to total 25 in those five categories though. Each are going to have five. Does that make sense? Okay, I don't know. Probably confusing you. Bear with me here. Then I go in. They're not going to know what I choose. I go in and I choose one from each category. One thing you want, one thing you need, one thing you could read, one thing you can use, and one thing you can wear. And that's what they get. Um, and then of course they get their stockings and in their stockings I like to do shampoos and body washes and perfumes and colognes and stuff like that. Stuff that they can really use because I don't like to get my kids stuff. <laughs> she didn't like that idea. It's her first year realizing. I don't like to get my kids stuff that they are just going to trash out and not end up using if that makes sense. Um, I'm not editing this video, so please subscribe. Please. I'm not going to edit this video, guys. I am literally going to post this. Yay. Like, post it. You're going to hear the baby screaming in the background. Get over it. We love you. We really want you to subscribe to our channel. All right. Anyways, I did say I'm potty training, but she did need diapers. I got some of these ones because there was more in the pack. And... She has only been able to use Huggies because she gets bad rashes, but I asked the people at the store if I could try them and if they give her a rash, if I can bring them back, and they said yes. I'm praying that they don't because they said that they're comparable to Huggies. Um, and so we tried them once before when she was really little and she got a rash. She could only use the Huggies. But these had more, so we're gonna try them. We're gonna see if they work. If she gets a rash from them, I'm gonna return them, get my money back, and I'm gonna buy a box of Huggies. But, bear with me guys, pray with me. Um, so tonight for dinner I was gonna make, we had leftover uh, fajita chicken that I made in the crock pot last night. I didn't film it guys, I should have. I apologize, my apologies. Um, but I bought tortillas because I thought I was gonna do like enchiladas with them tonight. No one wanted them. No one wanted to eat. Tortilla chips, because then in the end, Elijah said, hey mom, how about we have chicken, pulled chicken, um, not chili beans and not like nachos. So I said, okay. So I called the hubby and I said, would you be okay with that tonight for dinner? And he's like, yeah. So this bag was like four bucks. It's huge and literally look, it's like my entire, it's bigger than my entire torso actually. It's huge, four bucks, maybe five. This I think was like 50, 51, could have been less, I don't know. And then I got these. So, story behind the bag being open. I'm gonna tell you. When I walked out of the store, the line, now I know, don't have with your mouth, well, get over it. The line was from the food court all the way down the um, parking lot, literally. And I had already paid for a hot dog meal. You get a hot dog and a drink, pay for a hot dog meal. And I paid for two slices of pizza, a piece of cheese pizza for the baby so she can munch on, and a piece of pepperoni pizza for me. We stood there so long You bet your butt. I opened my chips. So, I got that. And I said the patty the patty pie from Walmart. And I said the Costco pumpkin pie. I think that's all I got, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed me watching. Uh, what? I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing what I got. You know what I mean, guys. I am tired. I need to put this baby to bed. I want to sit down. I want to relax. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a Costco haul and I'm gonna be doing a Winko haul and a Walmart haul. I think my Winko and my Walmart may be first because I don't need to get too much from Costco. There's a couple things that I wanna get. They have ginger villages and we always do a gingerbread house during the winter time. And they have little ginger um, bread villages that are super cheap, they're not expensive. I think they were like 11 or $12 for three little houses and they come with all the decorations inside there from Costco. I seen that tonight. And then there was a couple other things that I wanted to get, but other than that, this is what I got tonight and yeah. So subscribe, like, come back, share my videos. And if you want to be surrounded by a real person who has a real life, a real screaming baby, and who doesn't sugarcoat anything because that's not what I do, come back and we'll share and we'll talk and we'll be friends. Just know you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect, and on my channel, that is perfectly okay. Thank you guys for coming by, subscribe. I almost forgot, I literally stood up to end the video and I almost forgot, I got this for the baby. This is a M-E-L-I-I Neely plate. It has the suction on the back. I got this for the baby. We because we sit her and she likes to take her bowl and throw it on the ground when she's done. This one can suction. I got that too and I got whipped cream from Costco.